Hi, welcome back to Revenue Growth AI. Today, I'm going to be taking you through a really exciting use case on how you can save hours on documentation. Documentation is so important, but everyone forgets to do it. You either don't have the time, you wait until too late, and you just never get around to doing it. So in this use case, I'm going to really dig into how you can streamline the creation of documentation so you actually end up doing it. We have a mantra at CST where every big project should start with a document and it really helps make sure you get that document at the beginning and then you can keep updating that as you go along. So we wanted to test out to see if I could use ChatGPT with Zapier and Slack to get something integrated to make us always start off every project with a document, especially those projects that come through into a Slack channel and you've got to action it right away. So what I've got set up, I'm going to go through step by step and show you how to set this up yourself and, and show you it working. So if we go into Zapier here, I'm gonna be triggering this based on Slack. I'm sure a lot of you in marketing and revenue ops, you're getting a lot of requests via Slack or there's a lot of conversations happening in Slack which then turn into projects. So you could trigger this in different ways, but I thought a cool way to try this out would be triggering it from a Slack message. So there's gonna be a new post message in Slack that's gonna trigger this. The next step here, we're going to be calling ChatGPT via the API. We're going to be putting in the text of the message. Um, and we're then going to be putting in the assistant instructions. And these assistant instructions, I'm going to read it out here because this is important. So you're note taking assistant specializing in revenue ops, helping consultants create documents to track projects and ensure alignment. The user message will provide the details of the document, but use your expertise in revenue operations and advanced note taking to generate a well organized output for the document. The first text in the document will say, Here is your document. So format your response and give us the response back in the document title, the status of the project, the objective of the project, timeline, top five requirements, top five important details. Um, and then I just put this in here to get around um, one issue I was experiencing before. So that is the instructions. So that's what we're going to send. I'm using ChatGPT4 because I do have API access. Um, definitely helps generate a better response. And then the reason why I've been formatting it like this is because if you go into the next step, the text formatted by Zapier, I'm basically going to split the text based on those double dashes there. So that will then give us different fields that we can use in a really cool flow step here where I'm, I've got a documentation template and within that template, I am going to have different variables. So you can actually create variables in Google um, documents, which then Zapier can understand. So I have like a variable for project stakeholders, a variable for their project schedule, a variable for project description requirements. So now because I've split out the response back, I'm going to be updating the title of the document, the stakeholders, the objective, the timeline, the top five requirements, and the top five important things. So one thing to call out here as well is that in these two here, um, I'm going to let ChatGPT kind of try and figure it out and really see if it can help me detail our requirements um, and also pull out the important details. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to go into Slack. I've got a couple of messages here. I'm going to test it out. This one is from a colleague, Keith Richards. So um, he's working on creating opportunity. He's un unable to edit the TCB estimate field. Um, and he's saying he's having that issue. We probably need to override that. So a function is designed. I confirm this opportunity with stage one. Can you look into this issue? So this is, you know, something that I'm sure a lot of you type of message that you would get um, in your day to day. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here, push to Zapier. I'm going to choose my documentation workflow, push. And here in this folder, here is the new document. So I'm going to open it up. This is the template. You can see it has other variables in here. So new document, opportunity, issue, investigation. So what it's done is it copies in my, um, in my zap, you can see that I 
we'll copy the original message and the link to the original message down here. So we've got that down here with the original message and let's see what it's come up with. So timelines unknown. Yeah, we didn't have a timeline in that message. Top five requirements, um, numbered one to five. So review the opportunity, identify the cause of the TC estimate, not feeding into the opportunity to TCV, determine if the override necessarily necessarily to fix the issue. And then top five important details. The issue was reported by Keith Riches. The opportunity was in stage one. The system says zero TCV and prevents updates without a quote. So I think it's done a pretty good job here at getting the, some of the requirements, some of the details. Of course, you're going to have to go through this. You would have to go through this yourself, but it's taken, you know, a pretty ambiguous, just like not perfectly worded statement and question. And it's built out a document for you, saving you a bit of time, getting that document started and then giving you a bit of runway to then work on this project. So we'll go check this out again. We'll do another example. So hi CS2, we have a new ask from David Gilmore, the new VP of sales for EMEA. He has a new project I'd like to explore. Adding the disco meeting button to opportunities. We would like to have them select the contact from the account to trigger the rest of the automation. I think that's done by July 4th. So let's send this. And here we go. Here's the document. Let's check it out. So remember, it was about adding a new discovery meeting button to the opportunity needed to be done by July 4th. Okay, they got the timeline in here, the objective, some details, here it was requested by, streamline the process of scheduling meetings, the button should be user friendly, easy to navigate, ensure the automation process is efficient and reliable. <laughs> I mean, obvious, but okay. And the top five requirements, develop the button, integrate the new button with the existing account system, manage and rephrase that, trigger the automation upon the contact selection, test and validate. So, I mean, yes, of course, you're definitely gonna have to go through and update some of these requirements, but you've got the document, you've got the timeline, you've got the goal, the original message, some of the requirements written up for you to just dive in, get this document built out and start working on this project. So I'd say it's definitely going to save you a good amount of time getting this document and then a lot of extra um, value throughout the life cycle of that project because you started off with the document. So some of my conclusions then. So I think the, the pros is very easy to set up. You know, you can set up that Zapier workflow in a few minutes. Um, it's very easy to bake into your existing workflow. So you could either trigger this off a Slack message you could potentially trigger this off a new task in your project management tool. You could have an intake form. And what I like about it is that, you know, over time, um, you could train potentially your version of ChatGPT on real, really like get that prompt um, optimized. So that it really will give you maybe better requirements or really detail out some of those um, important details within that document. Or you may have other things where, you know, there's that you don't want to have to write up everything to get going on, on a document, but you just want to give it some information and it can explore, come up with some ideas to add to that document. And yes, you're going to have to refine it, but it's really helped you get that started. Some of the cons, you know, it's not going to be right all the time. It's probably going to hallucinate and do weird things and maybe say something that isn't perfect, but I don't, wouldn't let perfect be the enemy of, of good and one of the hardest parts for a lot of people is just literally opening up the document and writing it all out and getting it done. Like, well, once that step is done and you have that document and you're going back to that document and other people have access to that document and you're updating that document, commenting and using it as a centerpiece throughout the life cycle of that project, it can really help. So getting over that initial friction of getting it done, I think is, is very powerful. Um, and yeah, just making sure you review the output, making sure that you validate it. I wouldn't just kind of add to the, the automation that it will ping everyone, you know, to say this document is ready without you checking it out, unless some of those people also un understand the pros and cons here. So I'd say overall, pretty useful use case. I think, um, a lot of the AI use cases that I've been experimenting with right now that have instant value and are really useful are just a lot of this summarization kind of getting things down on paper getting ideas out there really iterating on that and giving you a lot of that 
kind of content to work with that you can then optimize going forward. And I think documentation is going to be a really powerful use case across the board, like not just this specific one, but just really helping us optimize the speed of getting documentation done because everyone knows in this field we're severely underdocumented and we need to make sure that we have that documentation as new people join we remember what the hell we did or what we said or what we built and everyone can understand what what is really going on because everything is very complicated and we just need to get pen to paper and get that written down and if ai can help us do that that is a huge win in my book so check it out let me know if you um like it let me know if you have any feedback any questions let me know if you have any other ways that you've been using ai and documentation i'd love to explore those ideas and maybe do future videos